Hey guys, David Asai, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about a little bit of a more serious issue that's happened with the gym. And some of you guys might have already known about this and some of you may not, but we are going to get into it and talk about it. I feel like this was definitely something that was worth speaking about. Topics like depression and drinking is definitely something that's very, very important and very prevalent in the K-pop world. Now seeing people drink a lot isn't something that I'm not familiar with. I wanna talk about Jimin's experience and what we can learn from it and how he's developed some habits that maybe aren't as great. No, this is not clickbait. We're also gonna talk about how Jungkook is feeling as he recently tweeted out some feelings on what has been going on in the world. If you are new here and interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when some new video drops. If you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now I wanna quickly just address something that has been awesome that has happened to this channel. We just hit 100,000 subscribers, yay! I'm very happy and I wanted to formally address it in maybe another video, not this one, but it felt weird to just not talk about it at all until that formal video, so I wanted to definitely mention it to you guys. I want to thank you for the continuing support on these videos. Thank you for coming back every day and watching them. That means so much to me. Also, the amazing people who decided to join my Patreon, thank you so much for doing that. Even during this whole time and all the stuff that's going on in the world, you decide to continue to support my Patreon, so thank you so much. That means everything to me. Whether you support this channel by watching the videos or whether you join the Patreon, either way, I do not take either of those for granted. Thank you so much for doing that. And especially those who have seen the hate comments about me and are still continuing to support me and be there for this channel. Thank you so much for all of that. That means everything. You guys are the reason why I do this. Anyway, let's get into the story you guys are here for. Jimin is an amazing, kind soul. He's a great person. I love him so much. He's always so helpful and kind to everyone. I mean, that's just how the BTS boys are. He always carries a smile on his face and he's pretty happy-go-lucky. So people don't usually expect people like this to have problems. But of course, just like any other person, this is not the case all the time. No one is happy all the time. In a recent documentary, Jimin did talk about how he was depressed and discussed why he felt the way that he did. Especially since he has gotten more successful, he has gotten more depressed. I don't want anyone sitting here thinking that he has depression because he is depressed. There's a difference. He has not gone to therapy and been officially diagnosed with depression. He has just said that he is just not feeling great. Jimin spoke about how he usually feels very lonely and isolated and how after a concert, he usually just goes back to the hotel room, sits alone, drinks, and cries. In the Burn the Stage documentary, this was like while they were eating dinner, they were kind of recording themselves as they were eating dinner and having this conversation. I think it might be a little bit more difficult to understand, but as you obviously get more successful, you become very isolated and lonely. Because the people who understand what you're going through and the problems that you're facing with your career are gonna be other celebrities or your bandmates. A lot of your problems are gonna be problems that most normal people can't relate to. They're gonna say things like, how are you a millionaire and complaining about all these things and blah, blah, blah. So obviously, Jimin's not gonna to wanna to turn to his like friends and families who aren't famous. But the celebrities he could turn to aren't really gonna sit there for an hour and talk to him. But if you want like a regular person to talk to, you can slide into my DMs, okay? And we can talk, no one has to know. Jimin also spoke about how he felt like he couldn't speak to his bandmates because he felt like they also had problems of their own. You tend to not want to bother your other bandmates with your problems, especially if they have problems of their own. I feel that, I get it. It's tough to rely on other people, especially if you feel like they don't care. But if you do tell them what you're going through and they can't stop talking about their problems or are not acknowledging your problems, then those people are not the people you want in your life. I'm not saying BTS is doing this because I don't think that they are. I think Jim is just not telling them. I honestly think BTS would actually sit down and listen. But what I'm saying is for you guys, if you have someone out there who's not sitting down listening to your problems and actually helping you feel better, then you need to cut those people out of your life immediately. Those are the people that that I've cut out of my life because they've shown me that they don't care. Jimin talks about coping with these problems by drinking a lot. And girl, I feel you, I feel you, okay? Sometimes it's just a little bit easy to take a shot here and there, feel a little bit better about life. But I would not classify him as an alcoholic, but just as someone who uses drinking to cope with things, I would classify an alcoholic as someone who has such a problem with the drinking that they can't perform or do their job. Jimin obviously isn't drinking to that extent. So obviously after a lot of shows when he is feeling down because you go from like this extreme high of being on stage and every everyone cheering you to almost complete loneliness in a hotel room. So obviously he is feeling a little bit lonely and isolated in that instance. He starts to drink and cry. Of course, I imagine it's a bit easier to turn to drinking than to talk to someone who you don't know if they're going to actually listen or care. And maybe he just likes the feeling of not being sober, which same. <laughs> drinking is like such a cheap and easy way to forget about your problem. Now, as I said, a drinking problem isn't something that I'm not familiar with. I am familiar with a lot of my friends and family kind of having a drinking problem. I've witnessed a lot of them go through something like that and it's very heartbreaking. So I obviously see kind of the same thing when I look at Jimin. Loneliness and isolation is something I deal with on a daily basis. I can't even imagine someone like Jimin and what he goes through, what type of loneliness and isolation he is dealing with because it must be far more extreme than whatever I have to go through. It affects everything. It affects how you eat, how you sleep at night, everything. 
everything. And this is a problem with a lot of K-pop stars and K-pop idols. The last thing we want is for any more people in the K-pop industry to go ahead and kill themselves. A lot of them have killed themselves because they just can't deal with this loneliness. You know, some of them live in really big houses all by themselves. Some of them spend the majority of the time when they're not making music by themselves. And a lot of them don't have best friends or significant others as they spend the majority of their life working. So they never made time to actually develop those relationships. And now that they're out on their own, they don't know how to develop those relationships. But also when you're sitting at home with nothing to do, you go online and you kind of check what people are saying about you. Sometimes that can get you upset. And when you're upset and you have no best friend or anyone to talk to, it can be really tough dealing with that on your own. Or sometimes not even the comments. What if your manager just says something that really upsets you? Who are you going to talk to? So there's no one except alcohol. But of course, I wanted to jump on Twitter to kind of see what everyone else was saying about this and what their thoughts are on Jimin particularly drinking. I had one user who quoted like a quote that Jimin had said. It reads, Jimin, I don't have a drinking problem. I drink, I fall down. No problem. Cheers. Well, we know Jimin has a good sense of humor about this. That's good. That's how I cope too. I use humor as well. So like people who are saying we're not compatible, like look how compatible we are. We both deal with mental health problems in a very unhealthy way. Yay. Bad joke, I know. Now as I said, I don't believe Jimin is an alcoholic, but there are armies out there who do believe that. And I kind of wanted to get that side as well. So we have one Twitter user actually defending Jimin on being an alcoholic. That person wrote, I hate when people call Jimin an alcoholic. Like there's such a big difference between controlling your alcohol intake versus uncomfortable drinking and even if you say it's a joke being an alcoholic is an actual problem and that ain't funny preach girl for all the people in the back say it louder i feel like jimin is definitely aware of the alcohol he takes in and is aware of the consumption this keeps him healthy and all that stuff and i believe if he had a problem big hit would like clock him immediately but jimin however isn't the only member who seems to be very lonely all the time especially with all the stuff going on right now jungkook is also someone who is currently struggling to feel better as you guys know of the current situation in the world right now and what is going on unless you've literally woken up from a coma which i imagine you must be real shook right now everything obviously in the world right now is just kind of on halt and no one's allowed to do anything and of course armies are a little bit upset because a lot of them had planned to go to bts concerts which of course are now canceled so armies of course being upset that tours were canceled is very understandable but we tend to just think about like oh well this kind of sucks that we're not seeing the shows anymore we're not really thinking about how this affects the artist we tend to think that the actual artist is going to be okay because they have money they have each other and whatever but keep in mind all the members of bts like to work like they don't like to sleep this is how they deal with their life by working they don't like to take breaks given the fact that they just took a break I think they were ready to kind of come back and kill it and they were very excited to get back and start performing again but obviously the world had a different plans and wanted them to take another break right away Jungkook seems to be the one that's taking it the most hard right now he tweeted about how much he misses armies and Jungkook also gave us another selfie on April 16th oh my god so many selfies lately maybe Jungkook's a little feeling himself a little bit more lately we're getting so many selfies lately I just want to die he posted this photo and he kind of captioned it with the caption I want to perform my concerts I miss you guys so much obviously it's in Korea and you get to see like this beautiful photo of all the boys I feel you cookie I get where you're coming from just hang on a little bit long of course armies didn't just let this be we're not gonna read a caption like this and then not freak out about it not talk about it they decided to make sure that Jungkook knew that he was heard and that he felt loved they decided to trend I miss you so much you guys always know the right thing to trend like I don't know how you would pick the right phrases for me personally I just I wouldn't be able to pick the right words. <laughs> and it's a great hashtag to trend because we all do miss Jungkook so much. What spawn of Satan isn't going to miss Jungkook? Tell me, tell me now. However, I could never actually physically ever get tickets to really see Jungkook live. So nothing's changed too much with me. <laughs> but let's go into the hashtag and let's see what some of these users were saying. One person wrote, Jungkook posted on Weverse that he missed doing concerts and seeing armies. This just hit me so hard. I'm thinking I'm supposed to be seeing BTS next Saturday at Levi Stadium. I will wait whenever they are ready. I miss them so much. Oh, I'm going to cry. Imagine finally getting BTS tickets and not being able to go to the concert. I'm 100% sure BTS is going to cherish every single performance after this and give an even better performance than they ever did before. I can imagine they're at home practicing, kind of spending their time getting better. I know for a fact Cookie is since he likes to work. I bet you they will emerge from this even more amazing and even more talented than they already are. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are leave it down in the comment section down below give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already featuring this comment right here thank you so much for leaving a comment and as always i do have a patreon if you would like to check it out and kind of contribute back to this channel a little bit more it definitely helps me kind of make videos a little bit better on this channel so thank you so much for doing that you can get exclusive videos over there such as music video reactions performance reactions and ship reactions i'll leave a link in the top of the description and down below so you can check that out there's also two videos that will pop up at the end of the screen on this video so please make sure you click on one of those and i will see you over there bye